these two littles turning a year old here shortly on us. Monster, that wasn't very nice. Live streaming has definitely been a direct response to COVID. We are trying to do everything we can to remain connected in ways that we never have before, um, whether it's our local constituents and community or our national community or even our international community. It's really been able to give this remarkable window into our world that so many people have never been able to see. One of the very first things we decided to do was start live streaming from the farm every Thursday. Welcome again, everyone, to our third installment of Live Live from the farm. Oh, Again, my name is are going to eat. We're going to ruminate. And ruminate will expect our cats to be born at the end of April. So we're coming very, very quickly to Kevin. My buddy Topaz. So we're on Topaz here. You can see this big top piece. Perfect. Well, well, thank you guys all so much for tuning in and doing with us. This was the first time either of us had ever done Facebook Live, um, professionally or personally. So there's been a bit of a learning curve. Um, but the beauty of the live feed is that it's supposed to be very organic. Um, I think it's kind of nice to get this transparency and it's a window into the fact that we are human beings and that we are gonna, there might be some, you know, funny mistakes and snafus and, you know, sound issues and we're all kind of working through it together. Am I missing anything? You guys are asking all these awesome questions. Keep them coming. Um, the next question is um, from Bella Marie. Um, asks, when the baby musk oxen are born, do they keep, do we keep them outside or do we take them inside? It's okay to be nervous because <laughs> every, a lot of people have found themselves doing this for the first time and that's okay. Just hit the button and go for it. 